already step five. Five. Yeah. Okay. Um, so for this step, you're gonna need so this step is pretty quick. Uh, basically you just need these guys. So for sure the drive guides. These I refer to as drive blocks, just for reference. And then you're going to need these end clips, which look like these guys. Actually, I'm going to set this aside for now. I actually need this for this step. And then I also want these rollers. These, you don't want to crank them all the way down, leave it a little bit of play uh, until you get everything in place, and then I'll walk you through how to kind of tune everything up so that you get just enough force and drag and friction and everything uh, in your drive mechanism. Now, these blocks, uh, you see the little fins that are bolted into them. Uh, these blocks are designed so that it takes up any slot called backlash uh, that's in the drive screws. And so, yeah, so these guys are what helps uh, keep the whole mechanism fairly accurate, but also simple. Now, uh, second step, you take one of these guys and then just usually choose the shiny side up and the plate just sits on top of the rods. Now for this one, uh, the way that it works, you can kind of get this clip into place but then we'll adjust it later on uh, for the end rollers so it doesn't really matter quite where you put it on right now because we're going to Kind of move it around later. Just want to get it in place so that it'll be easy to fix later. And when it's properly done, you actually bend this metal plate a little bit, but that that is intentional. So uh, for these, you do crank down pretty tight. Uh, again, it's plastic. It's possible to strip out don't go too far, but at the same time, it can take a reasonable amount of force. 
Uh, now the longer one winds up getting these end caps. Later on, what we're going to do is we'll move this clip out, and it'll help keep these end caps out further. And so basically, this is an adjustable distance, and that helps uh, basically make sure that the length is exactly what you need in order to get a good fit and support these rods later on. Okay, so repeat the same thing. So the side that has the little thing sticking out fits downwards, two screws. This drive block is actually oriented this way at uh, the assembly. So I usually put the shiny set up. And then these guys, you push it out right to the end of the rods. Do it right, you'll bend the plate right down the middle. So uh, you need it to be nice and sturdy to help keep these bars aligned. So it'll be shy. But as soon as you see the plate really kind of hit the bottom uh, on the plastic, stop. Okay, so that's it for step five, uh, and then we're moving on to step six next.